Hey guys, Brian with the Brian Dirt and Snow YouTube channel. I got the Thurin kit on yesterday and uh, as I was driving home, I knew that my uh, steering wheel was cocked off to the right and um, then all of a sudden it threw a code for a stability control, service the electronic stability control and apparently they've got a sensor to make sure that the steering wheel and the direction that you're traveling is dead on. So uh, yeah, my truck's just a little bit smarter than I am. So to get that light to disappear, uh, well, I just cleared the code using my AEV ProCal, but I'm actually going to fix it today by adjusting the drag link, basically what connects your pitman arm and your steering wheel to the rest of the steering components to get your wheels to do what the steering wheel is telling it to do. As I was looking through YouTube last night, I realized that not many people have a example of how to adjust this new style drag link that they put on, I believe it was 2019 and on. So the old style drag link just had the one sleeve that you turned and then the two nuts that would, would stick on the outside. However, this one's just a little bit different. I will show you how to adjust that. I do have a buddy coming over. He was going to sit in the cab and let me know when I am dead on. But uh, yeah, excited to show you guys this video. So you can see that my wheels are pretty straight. But let's check in here, show you what's going on. Might help if it was unlocked. So you can see it's a little bit off. So he's going to help me bring that in. He's going to sit up here. Oops, some trash left in there from last night. Culver's is delicious, by the way. So we are underneath the truck and you'll see this whole mess of bars down here. The obviously new one is going to be the Thurin track bar that I put on there since that is a little bit longer. Now this drag link's a little bit too short which is basically pulling the steering wheel off to the right when the truck is tracking straight. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking for this bolt right here just above the pumpkin and I'm going to use an 18 millimeter wrench to loosen that up. And then I'll use a much larger wrench. I only have a plumbing wrench that'll fit that, but uh, you're going to basically rotate that, come towards the front of the truck to get the steering wheel to go back off to the left. So the way I need to rotate is this way. My buddy's up in the cab letting me know when I've gone far enough. this one-handed while I film. Forgive the use of the wrong tool for this. It's a plumbing tool, so. All right, I've got my long lens on, but uh, there it is. It's all straight. Kind of adjusted for road crown. It's super hard to do here because uh, Colorado doesn't really have consistent road crown. You'll be driving one way, you'll have to basically steer uphill because the entire road is crowned downward and not just from the middle. And then other places, it's a little bit more of a consistent crown, but that seems to be as good as it's going to get. But yeah, just make sure all of your stuff is tight after playing around with this, and we'll see you in the next video. Give this video a like, give me a subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon.